These are 25 insane secret locations in GTA 5, and I guarantee you haven't seen all of them. So, to test that, I created 5 different levels from the most famous to most unknown hidden locations. And if you haven't heard of these first 5 locations, then you're a noob. If you come to this location on the map, you'll come across these mineshaft doors, which you can actually open up with any explosive in the game. Inside the tunnel, there's one secret thing to see, which is this body that pops up when you start the murder mystery challenges. Now, my favorite secret location slash glitch to show new players is at the top of the FIB building. The only way you can get inside of this building legitly is through a mission, but around here, we simply don't care. So the first thing you need to glitch inside is a cargo bob, and then park it a little something just like this. Now, to get inside, you need a combat roll up towards this wheel, which you can do by aiming in and jumping. 2,000 years later. Oh, there we go. Finally, I got in. Since this is an interior for a mission, it's fully textured, and it's actually pretty detailed. You may have drove past this next location a thousand times, but when you take a closer look, there's actually a little village here. Just walking through the entrance, there's a please help sign, but inside their village, you'll find some tents, a bunch of signs that are kind of creepy, and you'll actually find an open interior. Now, one of the most OG glitch locations is right here on the map, so if you haven't heard about this one, you're truly a noob. All you have to do is walk into this spot right here, and just just like that, you'll be glitched inside of the hedge. Now, there's not really anything you could find in here, but since this has been out for so long, it kind of makes me wonder why Rockstar kept it in the game. Now, wrapping up the noob level, I came to this location, which is truly one of the most iconic spots in GTA, because at 11 p.m. is when the Jolene Evans ghost appears on this mountain. I remember being so scared when I first saw this, so if you're new and this is your first time seeing this, just be careful not to get too close, because it disappears. If you think you did good on the noob level, good luck from here on out because it starts getting a lot harder. So now let's move on to the pro level. Starting off the pro level at this location on the map, usually when you see the train on the map it's constantly moving, but at this location it stops for around 45 seconds, and during that time you're able to get inside like it's your own vehicle. Run in between the train and this barrier while spamming the enter button. It might not work the first time you try it, so you may need to wait for the train a few times, but this is what it should look like. And there you go, it's really easy to come inside. And even when the train starts going again, you'll stay inside. Next, if you go to this location, which is kind of far offshore, you'll find a pretty big underwater lab. I'm not really sure what the first person was thinking when they found this, because I rarely even go underwater in this game. My favorite part about this location is that you can actually explore the abandoned lab. Now, I wish Rockstar would have added something cool in here, or even just some more detail. But before making this video, this is the first time I had ever seen this. If anyone has any idea what this is a part of, let me know in the comments. In one of my previous videos, I talked about the Altruist Cult, which is just a group of guys that are cannibals. And although this spot is kind of a secret location, it is a part of a mission, so I'm not gonna count it. But if you leave their village from this side, and then jump down this side of the mountain, and then run to the right, you'll stumble across one of their secret caves that has a skull, a fire that burns 24-7, and their cult's logo. And if you need the exact location, here it is. I've been to the military base hundreds, maybe even thousands of times, and I never knew that you can go and side of this building. When you go through these doors, at this exact location, you can enter a part of the military base that not many people know about. And through this security check, you'll be able to go into multiple rooms, such as stairs that lead you to the top of the tower, a fully furnished training room, and even a working elevator. But for the video, I'll take the stairs. Unfortunately, you can't enter the rooms that are found on the way to the top of the tower, but once you reach the sixth floor, this is where you'll be able to enter the top of the lookout and oversee the whole military base. And in the room next door, this is where the elevator from downstairs will lead you to, and through the other door, you'll be able to find their electrical room, and following this last set of stairs is where you'll find the actual top of the lookout. And for those of you wondering, no, you cannot shoot through these windows. This last one for the level is going to be pretty quick, but I still think it's one of the best spots in the game. Usually you can't enter random garages, but this garage to the right opens up when you get close to it. And the best part is, when you get to the back, the garage door closes, and when you have a wanted level, you can actually hide from the cops in here but you can also use this as a protected spot to shoot at them. Whether you already knew about the last 10 locations or not, you're now ahead of 70% of GTA players. So now let's go on to the CEO level. Starting off with my favorite underwater location. At this location, you're able to find an underwater tunnel that you could swim through and explore. Now this tunnel is a part of a mission, but still only a majority of players know about it. Now this tunnel is pretty long, and it brings you straight into Humane Labs, which lets you explore even more. 
The next secret location is at the airport. If you come to this location on the map and then make your way up these stairs, you'll be able to walk through these doors. This is somewhere on the map no one would expect an open interior to be. So one, it's a great hiding spot if you're off the radar, and two, it's kind of just fun to explore for the first time. Towards the end of the hallway, there's this secret exit, and I've always wanted to trick someone who's following me by coming up this ladder and then placing a proximity mine so when they come through it, they explode. Now, I haven't really thought this through before, but I feel like it would work and it would be pretty funny. Now, I don't know if this next one's just me, but I've seen a bunch of fake TikToks that say there's secret car locations throughout the map. And although 99% of those are fake, between the hours 12 and 2 a.m., if you drive around this block, you'll actually come across a modded car. It's called the Sentinel XS, and when it spawns, it already has mods on it. But just keep doing loops. Oh, actually, this is it right here. But like I was saying, just keep doing loops around this area until you find it. Respectfully, this is mine now. Now, if you're ready, let's go on to the hacker level. It's no mystery that this building's been under construction for over 10 years. Well, even though you're not supposed to go inside, I found a pretty secret solution. First, get your character up to this location, which for better reference looks a little something like this. And then you're gonna jump from here all the way down to here and your character will glitch inside. So let me see if I can get this first try. Just a few broken bones on the way down. That was actually a lot easier than I remember. Now, this is actually a glitch building that you can shoot out of, but let me show you the only way you can get out of here. Unfortunately, exploding yourself is the only way to get out. The next location is here on the map, and what you want to do is walk first person into this barrier. For this though, you have to be pretty careful and go kind of slow, because if you go too fast, you'll glitch out and fall through the map. But the goal is to get down to that piece of concrete, so let's see if I can do that. It's kind of tough. Oh, no. Okay, give me one more chance to try that. Make our way down these stairs. All right, looks like we got to jump down here. Everything might look invisible when you first get down here, but when you find the right position, you'll be able to see through the map and shoot. And that even includes RPGs. Next, if you come to this location on the map, there's a secret location behind these gates, which I'd even call more of an Easter egg. Behind these big doors, you see a secret room and a huge snowman. Now, the reason I say this is more of an Easter egg is because you can't actually get inside of the room, but you can see inside. The next spot on the map is right here, and what you want to do is climb up this garbage can and then right onto these pipes, then slowly make your way over to this open window. Once you get over here, just jump inside. And I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the most hidden locations. You could probably get away with camping this spot for a little while, but as soon as an oppressor comes through here, you're cooked. So good luck with this one. I know I said the last location was one of the most hidden spots, but this one takes first. If you come to this location with a helicopter and land it right up here, you'd expect this to be a normal rooftop building that doesn't let you go inside. But for whatever reason, the singular room room is open. And you might be wondering what this door leads to, and the answer is nothing. Lastly, we have the classified level. And these locations are the most unknown in the whole game. For the first location, you're gonna need a parachute to get to it. So then come to this location and park an NPC car just like this. You'll then jump on the car and then try to jump over this wall. Once you jump over the wall, this is where the parachute comes into play. Next, you'll need to ping this exact location and jump off the map just like this, then pull your parachute. Now try your best to get exactly to that pinged location without dropping your character too much. Now this glitch might take a while to do and this is actually like my 10th attempt but once you do finally glitch inside you'll notice your character stuck in first person but all you have to do is use the up and atomizer and switch your camera angle right when you shoot which should look a little something like that. Thankfully this next one isn't as hard but you will need to spend a few million on a deluxo. With it you want to fly directly into the bridge right here and just like that you'll be inside. From this location you have the ability to shoot any weapon been out and you're completely hidden with a bunch of space. Now, if you don't want to spend a lot of time or money to get to a location, this is the right spot for you. All you want to do is get a tall NPC car, then park it right underneath this fan. Jump onto the NPC car, then jump onto this metal pipe, and you'll be glitched inside of this wall. Sadly, from the spot, you can't shoot out, but you will be able to see and be completely hidden from everyone on the map. For the next secret spot, you want to come to this location, make your way around the side here to this ladder, then climb up this ladder. After you get up the ladders come to this cone and unlike the last spot you'll be able to glitch inside just like this and have full ability to shoot out of it while being in the most popular spot on the map now the last spot on this list is at this location and although it doesn't seem secret the story that lurks behind it is pretty creepy and if you want to know the full story watch this video right here and like always thanks for watching and hit subscribe